Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ALPP. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, if you're new to charts, what do I mean by 30-minute? I offer up a quick explanation video right there, so if you go to that link, I will explain in detail. Well, I don't mean to state the obvious, but I am anyways an absolutely monster move today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and big volume, although the vast majority of that volume did come in during the final 30 minutes of the day, you can see that volume bar representing the last 30 minutes. And then, of course, right there, that candle showing that the price got explosive with that surge in volume. So definitely a lot of eyeballs on this one going forward. So let's map out some areas of support and resistance going forward. First level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we've said, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going? Whoops, let's make that green for support. There we go. What would make this you know chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above 0.045. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price you know, drops below 0.045, I'm not trying to uh, imply that the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, and that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period, simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes on, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic and highly effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as quote unquote, the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 0.045 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance going forward? Honestly, on charts like this, resistance levels don't matter. What do I mean by don't matter? Well, it matters is what the price has already been doing and that is this right here. As long as the price continues to chip away and build higher lows, or if you wanna envision those as stair steps, so as long as those stair steps continue to be built higher and higher, then given enough time, everything else will eventually take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So I know it's not the most exciting thing to talk about and focus on, but as long as the price does just continue to build higher bases, consolidate at higher areas, then everything else, like I said, takes care of itself. So focus on those higher lows and just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.